I'm Pat Gunn, and we're playing Skyrim. So we are in Blackreach, and we are looking for a Crimson Nurnrit, and seeing how many uh, soul jumps we can get along the way. Now I do have the impression that I'm having trouble with always being attracted back to the same uh, parts of Blackreach. I'm just imagining. Oop, somebody nearby over there. Whoa. Some of this is just that my sense of aesthetics is probably reasonably predictable. And every time I I come to the area, it just always leads me to the same place. Your sense of, uh, sense of aesthetics might lead you to a very different place. Aha. Uh -huh. And there is another Thalmer. And we got him. And I think I see another Crimson Nurn Root over to the side. I suspect that there is a um, certain amount, a certain uh, amount of similarity within the choices that that one makes when one's being uh, guided by aesthetics. Just like you might be able to tell a lot about somebody's personality by asking them to try and tell you random numbers. I'm hearing another one. Uh-huh. And here's another geode vein. Let's see if this will be a proper soul gem geode vein, or whether I'm going to get more... Yeah, conundrum more. Darn it. Oh well. Still a useful ore. Although once we hit level 100 smithing, we're not going to care so much about what ores we have. And that looks like another one over there, and another one further to the left. So yeah, we can make pretty good progress on this quest. We're just observant. Okay, one, and two. So I have four more to go, and here is another geode vein. I, am I not wearing a helmet? Looks like I'm not wearing a helmet. And this is one of the geode veins that actually is working properly and giving me uh, soul gems. Yeah, I should get a helmet on. Oh, I'm wearing completely the wrong gear. Okay, that should be much better. Now this is one of the really cool things about this mod. This uh, graphics mod. It actually makes your sense of sight so much more important. Oh, it is. I might have actually mined these before, and they might have just uh, regenerated when I was out. Because I kind of remember going into a, a big spider, a spidery area. I don't know if the if the crimson nern root regenerate too. Here, there is a crimson nern root, and I think this is also a mineable rock. And this is actually a 
a vein that is what it promises to be. And apologies if you hear crazy scattering noises in the background. Ooh, hello. Well, looks like there's one of these guys and he hasn't seen me yet. So... See if I can. Oh no, not quite. But there is another. Uh... Okay, is this the one he came out of? It might be the one he came out of. Yeah, it looks like he is coming back. And I got. Him. Uh oh. Okay. Looking good. So, Eric. Oh, and there is Jizargo. I was worried that that looked like a gigantic fish of some kind, and uh, I'm going to save here just on the off chance that the current here is strong enough to pull me right off uh, the cliff. I don't think it is, but it would be a really stupid way to go. There's a Falmer that Jusargo might have just killed for me uh, when I was nowhere nearby, which is fine. wonder if I've been here before. Huh, this is interesting. Oh, and it looks like that shot gate on. Is that? Uh, that is... That is a dwarven spear that is shooting bolts at me. Great. But I think Chisargo might be able to take care of it. Hopefully. Yes. And uh, when we fired the uh, the thing, the gigantic crossbow, it actually bashed open the store. But it looks like yeah, this is the lab. We've already been here. Well, it would be a hoot if am I still in combat? Yeah, way way over there. There's a foe that might see me or something even still okay and there's Jisargo who just stepped inside maybe the foe was seeing Jisargo and foe's uh, well in any case See if we actually have anything to enchant that would let us hit level 100, because that would be pretty amazing. No, right on the edge. Wait, actually, didn't I have a dagger? Dwarven dagger, yeah. Let's see if, if this will put me over the edge. And that puts me at level 100 uh, enchanting. So now everything opens up. 
So enchanting is over on the far left, or no, is it on the far right? I guess it's on the far right, right next to smithing. So we're going to take the level 100 perk, which lets you put two enchantments on the same item. They are full strength enchantments. So, yeah, things, uh, things get pretty crazy. Or at least they will once I get out. Uh, once I get uh, back home and can get that set of glass armor out. But before I head up, I believe I have one more Crimson Nern root to gather. So let's see if I can figure out where it is. There's a little bit of light. This looks like a suitable candidate. Oh no, I have... I'm sorry, I guess I need two more. That was the second list. I think I might see one over here. And that is 30. So I think this will take me back to the surface. So that is a neat, uh, neat emblem, but it, it makes me curious uh, what the utility would be of it. Is it useful like as a bookend or, well, in any case, let's, well, we know where, where this is now. It's a little bit east of uh, Ivarstead. And what we can do so we're not going to do this quest right now, but it would be nice to learn some of the uh, some of the geographic points. We're going to learn for, uh, Fort Amol, which is a little bit west of here, and then we're going to hook south and uh, go to the uh, quest marker. There's a dead mammoth. I found the cave. I don't think there are warm fire friendly faces inside. It looks like the mammoth has possibly been killed by spiders. I would hate to imagine how many spiders uh, were needed to do that. Oh, mushrooms. Creep cluster. I think this is a dragon's tongue up here. One of the things I've regretted never doing in, in Skyrim is that Argonians have, um, have the ability to breathe water and there are some areas where there are just endless expanses of water. A little bit southwest still. And I've always meant... Hi, chicken. Hi. I've always meant to go and explore those areas, like the, the Arctic uh, waters north of um, the College of Winterhold. But for some reason, I just never got around to doing it. Uh oh, I think I see something up there. I'm not sure. Whoops. Oh, no. I did not mean to knock them both down. And... Well... It would be very difficult to find them again. Jazargo will eventually catch back up to me, I think. No idea why a dark elf was attacking me. But I guess I'll leave the uh leave the two of them at it. And 
I think this is Fort Amol uh, up here. And the reason why I'm making a little bit of a special effort to reach it is that I think that it's uh, later useful for a quest. Yeah. So what we have to do now is head a good way south and a little bit east. And I don't know if this guy is friendly. That's close enough. Okay. He is not of the sort to be initially aggressive. So he won't attack provided that I stay back. Which is fine by me. So up here is a cave somewhere. Let's see what's going on up here. Jizargo? Yeah, that's you. Sorry for uh, for shouting you off the mountain. I was trying just to hit the other guy. Okay, that does not look like a friendly place. So yeah, still heading roughly in this direction, but we need to make it up and over the mountain, or possibly around. Actually might make more sense to go around. I'm hoping that that doesn't uh, provoke these guys because I am getting kind of close to their fort. Okay. I'm trying to keep an eye out, or rather an ear out for uh, there's a, a bear and a spider. Apparently the bear and the spider are not pals. And they're going to fight each other. It's easy to tell who's going to win this one. Oh, and there's, there's some people down there too. Uh, let's see what is going to happen. I don't know if they're friendly people or hostile people. Looks like they're Imperial soldiers. So, ooh, a butt shot. Okay, what is up, my friends? Imperial business. Be on your way. Oh, okay. Oh, and there's a dead strong cloak soldier. Imperial business. Be on your way. Oh, so he was probably their prisoner. Um, because he frequently in the game will find. Um, soldiers of one side escorting uh, captured soldiers of the other across the land. And you can either let the captured person go or you can uh, just uh, walk on by. I'm going to learn this town. Not sure if this is one of the minor towns in the game. Darkwater Crossing. Okay. Now. Actually, I want to be mostly east at this point, with a little bit south, so I'll continue this way. And if you feel like it, you can actually arm the, uh, arm the captured person. If you're rebel scum, <laughs> okay, more jazz bay grapes. They're not the most visible resource to c collect on the map. Am I headed in the right direction? Let's see. Oh no, I moved a little bit too far east. Now I want to be s southwest. I 
I wish I knew whether I, this is the right side of the mountains to be on. I hope it is. There's another, uh, another castle. Well, we'll just have to hope that this is the right thing to do. That was neat. You can actually see the uh, far off land resolve itself into a higher resolution version of itself. Wow, that is one gigantic waterfall. Um, hmm. Problem is, now I'm pretty sure that where I want to be is on the other side of, uh, of this mountain. Well, it does look like, like there's a cave somewhere up there. Might be an interesting place to visit and learn. If I can figure out a way to visit it, though. Might not be the easiest uh, thing to visit from beneath. And I'm not seeing too many paths. And there's a Okay, well, that's at least the end of uh, that bear. Do not like bears. Um, hmm. I wonder if this is a shallow enough ascent that I can make it up. So there is a spell that was added by one of the extensions that I sometimes get that makes it easier to uh, to, to make your way to the top of places basically a teleport spell. Oh goodness, this, this is not... Oh, well, I have enough of that for now. A road. But let's see where I am now. Okay, I'm almost due north of where I want to be. So I just want to... Well, does this... Yeah, I guess this keeps on climbing. Unfortunately, I think it might take me further away from my goal. Then I'm heading mostly west and not actually south. But it might hook back. I have this feeling that I might have been here before. But maybe not, because there's a cave ahead. And I think I would have visited it. Is Jizargo anywhere nearby? No. He's, uh, yeah, followers are not that great at at managing those types of weird jumps that you can do if you're really persistent. Which is unfortunate because right now, if, for example, I met a saber cat, I would have a bit of a tough time uh, killing it. So I'm still almost due north of where I want to be. And here are two more people. Not sure what they're up up to. Oh, such colors! The suffering that Daedra caused will not go on and not escape the vision. What? Wait, what? What's? Oh, shoot! Oh, they killed it very quickly. It's impressive. Their uh, vigilance systems are, are kind of crazy. They're this game's versions of the irritating uh, paladin uh, sort. OK, 
Okay. Foxes do not normally attack you. Let's see how I'm doing. Oh, so I really want to be heading west. Oh, I am heading. Or I'm sorry, heading east. I see a red dot. And that's just a troll. Oh, and Jazargo's back. Cool. South. And let's see if I can fix this heading in the wrong direction problem. Unfortunately, this is these are the kinds of jumps that will put Jazargo further behind me. But Okay, how am I doing? I'm actually pointed just in the right direction right now. So if I can just manage to keep on headed, uh, heading straight, it should take me right to where I want to be. And I'll keep on adding uh, good new things to my map. So this is a, a mountain lake, it looks like, that feeds uh, waterfalls. Neat. Let's see if I can just mark this on my map from down here. Yep, Nilheim. Uh, Don't know what that is. Do not want to investigate it right now. Just want to keep on moving. Man, that is scenic. This would be a great place to take a vacation. Well, except it's probably pretty cold, but otherwise... Yep, and I'm getting pretty near. South, east, somewhere in between. There's another waterfall leading down. How am I doing? Oh, so it's a little bit more south. And I imagine at some point I will be hearing from Jazargo again. whole farm with lots of nerd root. Don't mind if I do? Oh, just one more nerd root and I would be uh, done. Hi. I wish I could head to one of the capital cities. Maybe even back to Mornhold. I love it here. You're that one from the college. Heard about you. Oh sweet, so I actually do have enough Nurn Root now. So next time I'm in Riften, I can visit uh, Ergen Bra uh, Blackbriar. But for now, I would like to... Somebody, someone do something. We could always use help picking crops if you need a few extra coins. I knew that at least poor... Perhaps someday I'll continue where he left off. It's... You gather. I'll search through Sindirian's notes and find... Thank you. You've done... I'd like to give you this tome. It's okay. one of Cinderian's greatest works. I've and, uh, more than earned it. I used to be. And that serendipity effect Perhaps is another one of those uh, permanent effects. Really? One of the ingredients I need to... I need 20 of them for my current crop. Okay, so another gathering quest. So that serendipity effect allows you to... Um, I might have some just back at, at home. Um, the serendipity effect, it's a permanent effect that is useful when you're imp uh, when you're doing alchemy. I think a certain percentage of the time uh, that you do alchemy, you get a free extra bonus potion. Okay, so let's head down to Riften. 
and then deliver the regular um, learn route. I don't actually remember what you get for that. But it's uh, good to be finally wrapping up quests, and good to finally have enchanting at uh, level 100. Of course, when I have smithing at level 100, that's when the fun really starts, and that Jazargo I'll be able to... Uh, so Dragon Armor, it is the level 100 uh, smithing, uh, uh, smithing perk. And it covers both, um... Sorry, I'm afraid I can't help you much right now. Currently in war. Oh, what happened? You caught me at a bad time. It was my sister. We recently heard she'd been... Anyway, I'm glad my work at the Black Briar meeting is... Huh, that sucks. But yeah, um... Most of the um, alchemy uh, perk tree is divided into two halves, um, heavy armor and light armor. But dragon armor happens to be where they come back together. And so I will finally be able to get Jazargo a really nice... Um, I'll finally be able to, uh, I guess I have to wait until, what's her name, comes back tomorrow morning. But yeah, uh, it means that you can make both heavy and light dragon armor. So I'll no longer be hampered by having chosen to specialize in the light armor perks. Uh, yes. This key unlocks my supply chest at Elgrim's Elixirs. Feel free to take what you need from time to time. I'll be refilling it once every few days or so. Cool. So that is. Check your supply chest from time to time. So she decided. Where did you put it, woman? What is it now, dear? So somewhere around here, there's a chest that she decided to give. Uh, give me access to from her spare ingredient might be this well I guess it's no, if it is super useful well just be careful around my things anyhow we are going to sell him any potions that we don't need, up to 514 gold, of course. I don't use illusion spells very much, and I don't use heavy armor at all. Okay, so... Is a grumpy old dude. Anyhow, it is now time to return home and power up. Honored to see you again, my friend. Well, thank you. Happy to see you too, as uh, as well, House Carl. Okay, let's put the ores and other stuff back. Yeah, 
and we can put the alchemy stuff away. So we might actually... So there was a quest that we took. I don't remember what quest it was that required us to get some of something. Oh, uh, maybe it was just baked grapes. We need to get a certain amount of those. So I'll pull all of those out of my uh, chest. See how close I am to actually having that quest done. They are kind of a, a rare ingredient. So that doesn't get me all that close, but it's progress. And we will take all our glass gear out. Oh yeah, I just had all this stuff here, which was terribly heavy. But now we're actually going to enchant this stuff up nicely. Now there is no uh, gear that gives a um, gives a buff to enchanting. The permanent buffs are only to smithing and alchemy. You can get potions that will make your enchantments stronger, but I typically don't do that because it's a pain in the butt. I will actually be doing the enchanting at the beginning of, of my next video. That's enough for this video. This has been a Let's Play of Skyrim.